What's happening beautiful people? Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm your maths coach. So let's begin with a simple lesson on simplifying algebraic expressions. You need to know one thing before we get on and that is the difference between an expression and terms. Now it's quite simple really. Here on the board there are two examples. The entire thing is called an expression and each individual thing is called a term. So terms make an expression. So here are one, two, three, four terms in this example. One, two, three, four, five, six terms in this example. Terms can be numbers as well. Now another thing that you need to be aware of is what is meant by the word to simplify. Simplifying means to collect. So you want to collect the same terms together. Now what I often tell my students is that if they're at home and their parent comes in and says tidy up your room um, and they've got socks in this corner and uh, they've got their trousers in that corner, what do they do when they tidy up? They make sure that all the socks come together, all the trousers come together, all the t-shirts come together and they start collecting the like things, the things that are similar. So if you have a look at my first example here, the first term is 4x. So what I like to do is just circle that term for you. Okay. Now, what else is part of the x family? Okay. There are four x's here. So if you go along here, you see that you've got 3x. So that is part of, like you could say, the x family. Now, the sign in front of a term is part of that. So I will, when I circle this, I will circle the plus with it. And the others that we have are the minus 5y family, and that is paired with the plus 6y. So now I'm going to be collecting the two x's, x values. So 4x plus 3x. That gives me 7x's and then I've got minus 5y and plus 6y. So you just need to focus on the value, the coefficient, which is coefficient simply means the number in front of that letter. You just need to focus on that and adding that together. So minus 5 plus 6. Minus 5y plus 6y gives us 1y because we get into the positive after going past 0. So that minus 5 plus 6y will give us plus 1y. And in algebra, we don't need to write a number 1 in front of the letter because that letter being there alone tells us there is a value there. There's 1y there. If I need to say 2y, I'll just put a number at that time. Okay? Now, that is the answer of simplifying this expression. Now let's do the same thing with this one here. So you've got 3a plus 2ab plus 7 minus a plus 3ab minus 9. So I'm going to do exactly the same thing. I'm going to be looking for the same families, the same terms. So let's go into 3a here. Let's circle that. Now if you look at this next one, it's got a in it. But it's AB, so it's part of the AB family. These are not the same terms. They are not the same terms here, okay? So this is a different term, and I will highlight that with a different color, okay? So if you continue here, 7. 7 doesn't belong to the A family, nor does it belong to the AB family. It is its own family of numbers. So you have to look for other numbers to collect that with, and we have that over there, okay? But let's concentrate on the rest of them. So if you go along here, we've got minus A. Again, the minus will be included here. Okay. And you've got the AB family here. So you've got three AB on this next one. Okay. So let's collect them together. Three A minus A. Again, concentrate on the coefficient, the number in front of your letter. So three minus one or three A minus one A. 3a minus 1a gives us 2a. That's the a done. So now you've got the ab. So 2ab plus 3ab. That gives us 5ab. All that is left is to do the numbers. So 7 minus 9. 7 minus 9 is minus 2. So therefore, we'll add 
minus 2. And there we have collected it. Often a mistake that I see students make over and over again is for some reason, I don't know why, they start collecting and adding these numbers together. Having done everything correctly, they start doing 2 plus 5, 7. And they'll, they'll write 7a or 7ab or something like that. So be very careful, don't do that. They are not the same term. You are done, you have simplified, okay? Right, let's look at this next question here. Now I've deliberately chosen this question because I want you to be confused at first. Let's read this. 3x squared minus 5x plus 2 plus 3x squared minus 7x minus 12. So let's go through the terms, highlight the terms that are like terms, okay? So we've got x squared, the x squared family. If you go along, this has an x in it, but it is not the x squared term. I'm not part of the same family, okay? So this, we can highlight this in a different color. There you go. And the next term is a number, we'll leave that alone. I don't have another color to use for that one. We've got the 3x squared. So we've highlighted the x squared family in blue. So we'll also highlight this one, okay? Uh, making sure that we've put the sign in front of it inclusive of that highlighting, okay? And then we go along here, we've got the minus 7x, so that's going to be in red, okay? Now let's just collect our terms. So 3x squared plus 3x squared, that gives us 6x squared, and then you've got minus 5x minus 7x, and that will be minus 12x, and then you've got plus 2, the number family here, and then minus 12. So you've got 2, take away 12, takes us into the negative now, so it's, that gives us minus 10, and that is our final answer. Now, this thing here, those of you, you may recognize, this is a quadratic expression as well. Another video will be made on how we deal with those things, but as for this question, which is to simplify this expression, job done. I've got a really good question here for you to do. So 2x squared plus 3x plus 1, plus, and there's a bracket here, okay? I wanna see you pause this video and then do this yourself. Okay, so if you've come back now, you can see what we are gonna do here is highlight our answers, but before we can actually highlight our answers, you'll notice that we've got a bracket to deal with. A separate lesson will be done on this if you need help and support on this, but we need to expand this bracket, okay? Look out for that video, expanding brackets, when it's released, okay? So, what we are going to do here is we are going to expand this bracket out. So two times three x squared, that gives us six x squared. And then two times six, so we get plus 12, okay? And then we've got all of this, we can just write it along. Okay, and what I've just done here is I've copied down the rest of this, okay? So this six x squared plus 12, came from the expansion of this bracket. Let's go and highlight our like terms here, okay? So we've got 2x squared here, that is not the same, so we're gonna leave that out. If we go along here, we've got 6x squared here, and making sure to include that plus sign, which also belongs to the 6x squared, and we collect those two together. So 2x squared plus 6x squared gives us 8x squared, and then 3x plus Nothing, 3x is actually on its own, so we just write it down again. So plus 3x. Now we've got a number here, so we've got plus one and plus 12, and that should give you plus 13, and that's it, simplified. This time we are gonna be simplifying expressions, but we have got indices involved. I am gonna assume that you know the rules of indices, okay? But if you don't, then please check the video on indices. All right. So we've got x squared times x to the power of 5. Now the base is the same, so we can just simply collect the powers. How? Multiply in here, so we add the two powers. We do 2 plus 5, and 2 plus 5 gives us 7, so the answer is x to the power of 7. Again, if we move on to this one, we've got 2r squared times by 3r cubed, what do we do? We do 2 
times by the 3. So the coefficients, they get multiplied as normal. Okay, 2 times 3 is 6. Now the r squared and the r cubed, same bases. The index numbers are different. We will add the index numbers. So r to the power of 2 plus 3 is 5. So 6 r to the power of 5. Division here. With division, bases are the same. So what do we do? A quick reminder, when you have division, you take away the two powers. So 5, take away 2. And that gives us b to the power of 3. Okay, so that's the answer for that one. Now, have a look at this one. 6x to the power of 7 divided by 2x squared. 6 and the 2, they follow the division. So then you just divide that. So 6 divided by 2 equals 3. And then x to the power of 7, you take those powers away. So you get x to the power of 7 take away 2, which is 5. So that gives you 3x to the power of 5. Okay, now a bonus one for you to do here is 3a squared to the power of 3 divided by a to the power of 4. Now, if you remember, the power here will be affecting everything inside that bracket. So the 3 will be cubed as well as a being cubed. And if it helps you, write it out separately. So 3 cubed and a squared cubed. And then that is simply written like that. Now 3 cubed, that's 3 times 3 times 3, 27. So that will be 27. And when you have a power outside a bracket, then these powers, they multiply together. So 2 times by 3, and that gives you 6. And we write this, that comes along, and there we have it. So we haven't actually done any division yet. All we did was just simplify this bracket to become 27a to the power of 6. Now we will actually start to use our division for indices. So 27 divided by 1, that's here, but we don't write that, remember? So 27 divided by 1 is 27. And then we've got a that follows the division. So therefore, 6 minus 4. So 6 minus 4 is 2. And the answer is 27 a squared. Hi guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something today. Um, if you liked it, please give the video a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel. If you found benefit in this video, please share it with your friends, your family members and other people around you that may also benefit from this. Thank you.